Welcome. In this video, we'll show a new feature introduced in Matrix Gold 3.9 that significantly improves how mirror and polar array commands behave when working with stones on different planes. To demonstrate the difference, I've set up two virtual machines, one running version 3.8 and the other running 3.9. I'm using the exact same file in both versions to show the improvements side by side. In earlier versions like 3.8, it was tricky to mirror or polar array stones around a custom orientation. Even if you adjusted the gem's position, the default construction plane, the C plane, was still used. Let's see how that works in 3.8. I'll create a gem and rotate it. Then I'll move it slightly and attempt a polar array using the Z axis. Notice that the array is based on the original global Z plane not the gem's new orientation. This made precision work more difficult, especially when dealing with angled surfaces or rotated objects. But now in Matrix Gold 3.9, this has been significantly improved using GV, Gem View. Let's switch to 3.9. I'll enter GV in the command line. This activates Gem View and aligns the view and working plane to the selected gem's orientation. Now I'll repeat the same steps. I place a new gem, rotate it, scale it down, and move it into position. Now when I use polar array with the Z axis, the command references the new adjusted plane exactly as expected. This allows you to create perfectly aligned patterns or mirrored elements that follow the gem's orientation. It's a major quality of life update for anyone working on complex geometries. The same improvement applies to the mirror command. Let's try a mirrored object. I'll draw a simple pipe and switch to GV gem view, then apply the mirror command. The result? The object is mirrored accurately based on the new local C plane. This is far more intuitive than in 3.8, where the global construction plane was always used. For comparison, let's try that same mirror in version 3.8. I'll paste in the same pipe model, but when I use the mirror command, it reflects across the default global plane, not the gem's orientation. This subtle but powerful update gives you much more control over where and how you apply symmetry in arrays. It's especially useful when working with curved surfaces, custom angles, or rotated gemstones. So that's the update. With Gem View and Matrix Gold 3.9, both mirror and polar array now align to the orientation of the gem or element you're working on, offering more accuracy and flexibility. We hope you enjoy this improvement and that it enhances your daily design work. As always, thank you for watching and let us know how this feature is helping your workflow.